just a little bit after 6.15. We know this, especially being reporters, it can be so frustrating when you're in a spotty area, you have no cell phone service, maybe it's the location or maybe it's a fluke in the system. Or this is happening to more people. Sometimes it might not actually be an accident. Annie Taylor has more. I was getting ready to walk out of the house and I got a text from my husband that said, I have a notification that someone changed the password on your phone. And I tried to call him on my phone and it said that I had no service. Terry Warner's world was flipped upside down that day. She called her phone company Cricket to figure out what was going on. They told her someone called and switched her number and service to T-Mobile. I am like Googling like quickly um, what is going on? Like how can somebody else have my phone number? And I ran across what was called a port out scan. That set off a chain reaction of criminal activity. So he's on all of my accounts because he now has access to my email, my bank account, credit card, everything. The Warners say the person tried making withdrawals from a retirement account and applied for credit cards in their name. Meanwhile, they froze their credit, contacted the FBI, credit companies, all while pleading with the phone company. I was in tears and I was like screaming and I was like, you don't understand, like, this guy was a criminal and you gave him my phone number. Now I just want my phone number back. Kept on saying, well, it had to have been your husband. We see this all the time. There's marital problems and you know, they'll just, um, they'll just port the number out. And I was like, that's not what happened. Courtney Cox's number was also ported out. And within hours, someone made a request for new credit cards on her account. So they had a note in their system that said that I had called and that I had told them that I was on vacation and that I was at a nightclub in Florida and that I was robbed at gunpoint and my cards were stolen. Cox said new credit cards were overnighted to South Florida. Police told us a package was signed for. They say in fraud cases, it's common for scammers to mail things to random addresses, track the packages and show up to sign for them or pay someone else to pick it up or simply just steal the mail. So with the port scam, it's fairly easy for scammers to actually take advantage of you with the scam. All they need is very simple information. The Better Business Bureau is seeing an increase in port out scams. A lot of time is through phishing attacks, through emails where you're going to links and it's asking for personal information. If you're filling out online surveys uh, through chats or through customer service dialogues where it may not be the true source. To protect yourself, the Bureau says request port out authorization from your cell phone provider. It's additional security steps and don't use your date of birth or social security numbers as pins. It could save you a lot of trouble later. It was literally one of the worst things that have, that ever happened to us. It was beyond a hassle. I mean, it consumed my life. And the Better Business Bureau wants you to report, port out, or any scams. It's on its scam tracker website and to the Federal Trade Commission and local police. Always got to be on the lookout. Yes, you do.